before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Tech Digest. 1. Brainstorm The first way to use Freeform is for brainstorming ideas. Naturally, having a blank page lends itself to a non-linear way of jotting down inspiration as it comes. Younger generations in particular might appreciate going paperless while still having a place to scribble and write freely. There are no page layouts to worry about, just one large extendable canvas. If you find yourself bumping up against the edge of the page, simply zoom out to reveal more space, or drag the page in any direction to get to reach a blank spot. Try connecting objects in your brainstorm using the arrow from the shapes library. You can also drag the arrow head near an item to connect it to the object automatically. This will keep the two objects connected even if you move them to a new position. Number 2. Create a mood board. Another good way to use Freeform is to create mood boards. You can add images to the board by importing them from your hard drive. However, it's even easier to drag and drop images onto your board from the internet. On an iPad, this works best by using Split View to display Freeform on one side and a browser window on the other. You can drag images into Freeform by holding a finger on the picture until a menu appears. Then, without lifting your finger, drag the image into Freeform. This saves you the hassle of individually downloading each file to your device and importing them manually. You can add this trick to the list of iPad tips to boost productivity. While you can organize your images using a dedicated mood board app like Pure Ref, the average user will find that Freeform does the trick, especially given that it comes installed and ready to go on up-to-date Apple devices. 3. Plan a vacation. If you have a whole family of Apple users, then you may want to check out the live collaboration features that Freedom has to offer. When it comes to planning something like a vacation, it could prove to be a fun way to share your thoughts. The first feature that makes it possible is the ability to share your board with up to 99 other people. When someone joins the board, they can add things to it, and the rest of the group can view the changes in real time. In other words, any changes to the board are updated instantly. For families living across states or countries, Freeform is a valuable tool to gather everyone's ideas. If you wanted to have a video chat while you scribble down your ideas, that's also possible, thanks to the integrated FaceTime feature. Number 4. Sketch Freeform has a few basic drawing tools that are great if you use an iPad with an Apple Pencil. For anyone who prefers sketching out their ideas as opposed to typing out their thoughts, it's a great tool to make use of on the go. You can also use the drawing tools on an iPhone by using your finger as an input. Sadly, this isn't the case for Mac users and you won't be able to use the drawing tools at all. Hopefully, this will change with future updates, although it could be Apple's way of pushing more people to buy an iPad. Mastering Procreate on an iPad iPad is still a better option for illustrators or designers who need a rich set of features, but where Freedom works well is getting ideas down fast. The tools are simplified and the board only shows you a few visible menu items while the rest is hidden. The next time you have an idea for a new artwork or design, get the sketch down in free form before you forget it. Number 5. Teaching Tool Freeform can be used as an app for teachers in the classroom, especially since it's free to use, making it an affordable resource if you already use Apple devices. You can send a link to students to grant them access to the board. Anyone with the link can make changes to the board unless you change the board settings to view only. As a teacher, you might want some strong elements to be locked so that students can't remove them. In this case, select the items to bring up the editing menu then press the more icon that looks like a circle with three dots inside. This will show you the extended menu, which includes the option to lock an element in place. On a Mac, the process is similar. Control click on an item and select lock from the menu. Students can then work on the board simultaneously without removing the main elements. Without a doubt, it's a fun way to get kids to work on a digital project together. Six just for fun. At the end of the day, having an endless blank canvas is just a lot of fun for doodling, jotting down colorful notes, or exercising that creative muscle in general. It's a good option for casual users because it's free to access, quick to open, and keep things simple with just a few core features. With the ability to share your boards with others, you can open up a page for yourself and a friend and simply draw together, no matter how you choose to use it. There's no pressure to be a professional artist or perfect planner. With a few pen tools and a library of shapes, you can capture your thoughts in a more bright and exciting way than simply creating a text document. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. 
with that, I'll see you in the next video.